Hello beta testers. I'm starting this video with a clip from the developer live stream. We just need dates. We understand and we will give oh. You know what I do. fell, everyone saw that. It's okay guys. <laughs> you, you what? I didn't see anything. I, yeah, no 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 one saw anything. Uh, we understand you guys need dates. We want to give you dates when we have them. Right now we don't. And we want to give you a solid date. Four months after the launch of their game, in the middle of saying that they don't have dates, developer falls through the floor. The girl with the upside down glasses says she didn't see it, jokingly. But did you see it? I'm sorry if you did, because recognizing that he fell through the map, that makes you a hater. Having eyes? That makes you toxic. I don't care if you didn't share the video. Link in the description. Look at this tweet from October. Avengers asked for questions for their question and answer session with Scott Amos. So, Forbes journalist Paul Tassie submitted over 15 questions, many of which mirrored the exact sentiments and concerns of the fans. Would it surprise you to know that none of them were chosen? And that in fact, none of those questions have been answered three months later? This is objective fact. But if you acknowledge this fact, you're a hater. Having eyes makes you toxic. This is Charles Logan. He is senior moderator for the Play Avengers subreddit. Today, on three different platforms, Charles has initiated interaction with me. After joining my Discord, he tags me and says, Figured I'd keep an eye on your activity here too. Then, after I ban him, he tags me on Twitter, saying, quote, Imagine wanting to fuck me this bad? With a picture of the verification that the same moderator, Charles, from Reddit, the one that sends me messages calling me baby, is the same guy that joined my Discord to keep an eye on me before getting banned. I, uh, I blocked this loser and can only hypothesize that his sense of worth is so tightly intertwined with the game and its perception that he views my documentation of this game's struggles as a personal attack. To reiterate, I've had no previous communication with this man and he's been the first to message me on every occasion and, uh, I've simply blocked him, everywhere that I can. Even though I respect this weirdo and whatever gender he chooses to desire, I am not interested. I only come to this, <laughs> this subreddit for the game. And even when Miller lied himself into a corner, implying that I ever said anything about likening the women models to lesbians, he was never so weird that he'd harass me on not one, not two, but three different platforms. This isn't an issue for me. I do YouTube and I expect this kind of nonsense to happen, but he's the senior moderator of the Play Avengers subreddit. And imagine, and this is what Dia reminds me, imagine if I were a woman. This, ladies and gentlemen, is your community. Is this what the Avengers game wants to be its representation? I guess so. Today, in a Reddit post by Avengers moderators asking for questions, the top post, even though the mods hide the scores, asks, why do the mods of this sub remove all of the top posts within a few hours of them getting hundreds of upvotes and awards, leaving us with five to six posts with little to no interaction? A user responds, read my name to find out why. His name? Play Avengers mods suck. You better not agree, because if you do, you're a hater. Having eyes makes you toxic. In case you missed it, look at this post made by Reddit user Holy Hamels. And they go, can I play the cloning labs? And they go, no, it's delayed nine months. <laughs> and I go, okay. A funny edit. 16 awards in the short time before the Play Avengers mods deleted it, people actually pay for these little awards. 
That's more awards than any post on this entire subreddit has received in the last 30 days. It's exactly the kind of humor that this community needed in this time of developers having no dates. This post made people smile. They commented to that effect. So of course, the mods deleted it. This impressed me. Having just had a bingo card that I just posted deleted as well, I'm used to being banned by incel mods who think silencing meant silences their ideas, but I genuinely took offense to the clearly hurt community being stripped of their frankly harmless method of coping. A video edit that eased the tension and mirrored the community's sentiments? We've seen this before. The second highest voted post of all time on this very subreddit is an edit memeing Captain America's inability to bash anyone with his shield. Nope, nope, nope. Without Reddit user Free Climb's effective and concise conveying of this bug, Captain America might not have the ability to shield bash even today. The moderators fighting what remains of the community is dumb enough that I felt the need to articulate as much in a post, letting the sad little men know that other popular gaming subreddits all allow these memes and don't hide upvotes on their posts. I said memes push out of the community towards the front page and help communities grow, and hilariously, the top three posts on Play Avengers from the past 30 days are all, you guessed it, memes. It's almost as though the community feels one way and has felt this way for months. And the mods, who literally have a reputation for being power-tripping virgins, are still trying their best to ignore that truth. But you know what they say about the truth. It'll set you free. Calling Kyle toxic is like calling a fat man skinny and hoping it sticks. I want these videos to be about this game and its community without entering myself into the history, but the moderators for Play Avengers are so irredeemably brain damaged that they genuinely think that other people on the subreddit are me, simply because they'll post my videos and then say me or my in the title. Can you imagine if I was actually popular? Like, do you, do you think that people genuinely believe PewDiePie's all over Reddit? they'd probably think everyone is me. I want to extend my love to the people who will never see this channel, who probably went to this subreddit to voice their opinions and only had them removed, not because of rule violations, but because a tiny person disagreed with an opinion. They were so terrified that people would agree that they had to block other people from seeing it. That's power. The comedy is, the subreddit thought that the game would be good enough to have at least a 50% shill community to help maintain the echo chamber, but surprise mods, even the shills are logical enough to recognize the lack of communication with a game four months broken to be unacceptable. The loneliest mod on the subreddit keeps attempting to flirt with me despite my heterosexuality and tries to blame the auto mod and toxicity for removing my posts. But why they all getting upvoted if it's the case, homie? Surely, surely people would downvote something that they didn't like or regarded as negative, right? Unless the whole community is toxic, I guess. Ain't nothing more toxic than a bingo card, am I right? Considering how hard they flinch at opinions and facts surrounding this game, it should be obvious that these mods have gone full dum-dum and are really trying to embody the embarrassment that is this game. When even Paul Tassi can't help but dunk on Avengers for its landslide of bugs and unbelievably shit performance, why imply that therapeutic jabs and objective facts are toxicity? Imagine being so hurt that your butthole is so raw, anything that you view that's not your opinion, it bad. We're literally making progress though, and don't think I don't notice. Before, the defenders used to fight reality. Y'all can look back in my history. That doesn't happen to me, it's gonna be patched soon. You don't hear that anymore. They don't deny the issues, they accept them, they admit them. 
They've graduated to attacking people, to, you know, calling names. And you know when they start doing that, when they move the goalpost, or in my case, when they try to flirt or silence my ideas, you know you've won, man. You can silence the man, as I said before. But I guess when the idea is powerful enough that you gotta remove it, because that's saying that, you know, it won't be downvoted, it won't be ignored. It, the idea, is bigger than you. So congratulations, weirdo mods. You are now a part of Square Enix's Marvel's Avengers history. I hope for your sake that this isn't the most significant thing to happen in your life. It would be a damn shame, wouldn't it? Thanks for listening, everybody. I love you. Like the video, screenshot this bingo card, and I genuinely feel like something's got to give at this point. So for people still playing or interested, I hope for all of our sake that this, this week brings something different. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, who are we kidding?